Hello, everybody. This is Michael. Um, in this video, we we are talking about the function of the shell script. Okay, we will focus the four of it. And uh, the first one is function definition. The second one is function parameters. The third one is function return. And the fourth one is function call. Okay. Um, First, um, let's let's open the terminal. Okay, we go to the test folder, and uh, the first one is function definition. Okay, uh, we create the function files means it's um. For function, okay. So this is function files. First, uh, we end the okay. We end the bash. This is bash. Okay, save it, and then it will be more colorful. Okay. So first, we define our function. We let's say print. Hello. Okay, so it will be could be like this. Uh, in the function, you can input whatever you want, and but we put the things like this. Echo. Uh, we put we will put some cut off line here, and then echo. Hello. How are you? And then echo. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. And you? Okay. This will be an example function. Okay. So um. Once we get the function, we we need to call it. To run the function, okay. So this is define definition of the function. Then how we call it? Very simple. We just write function name. We'll be fine. Print. Hello. Okay. Okay. That's it. It will be fine. Oh, uh, this is all. It's not a uh, zero. Okay. We save it. We save it and we uh, take a look. That is over there. We added execute executable permit to the function. Okay, so it can run now. So we run it, take a look. Function. Yes. It print out hello how are you I'm pretty good and and you and you can execute it multiple times so you will run it like this print hello and print another hello and print another one okay save it okay let's run it See, there is three. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. And two, one, two, three. Okay. I uh, noticed one thing. The, the function definition, it must be in front of the function call because the, um, the shell screen is not a compiler. Compile processing. It will read the read the script one line, uh, one by one, and uh, each line. So it will read this first. So understand it has the function, and then when you call it, it can run. But let's say if we put this, we put this, we just cut off it and paste behind. So it will not run, and it will uh, pop out some error message. We save it. 
let's try it okay function so you will see the function the command not found so that's why it, you need to define it before before you run it okay so that's very simple rule okay okay and uh, it's here okay save and the next things um parameter function parameters okay function parameter so um the 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 function can input the parameter but how how we input it so we can we can um we can add it like this so we added echo one more echo i'm this okay so this one is means uh one parameter one input parameter when you call this print hello and you can put the parameter here i'm michael it will replace the, this one as michael the second i'm jack here the third one i'm alice okay let's save it save it and run it okay run it function okay so pretty good so i'm pretty good and i'm michael i'm pretty good i'm jack i'm pretty good i'm alice so, so this will be uh this input so let's say if you have the second uh, pyramid how we do it okay the second pyramid we can do like this nice to meet you uh, i'm um this is the second pyramid okay so let's say michael first and then mm, um let's say Rita okay and uh, let's say um mm, okay let's just read that again and uh, read that again let's save it so this will be the second pyramid here read 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 and this will be first okay let's let's run it okay so michael rita jack rita alice rita okay so this will be the shell screen is the pyramid function pyramid okay so this is a pyramid the next thing will be retain okay the retain the retain is kind of important because you can know um the function where where the function go and uh, what's the return result and uh, and uh, so you can know the um, sometimes you print the result out you you know um uh, it will help you debug the the function okay um let's 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 do something like this we change a little bit we put the we put the input parameter like a zero one equal okay so this is the first parameter okay then this will be the second okay so we replace this to here and we place this to here and we added one more thing if okay if this is a judgment okay 
if the if the name one equal to Michael then we return okay then we return a uh, one else we return zero okay and uh, and uh, and the if okay so this will be uh, judge the first name is Michael or not. If the if it is Michael, then return one. If not, return zero. Then we need to uh, when we run the run the function, we need to edit one more things. So like uh, echo, we need echo the function result. Okay, function return. Okay, function return equal to what? This okay. So this this function is like a system d5 function. Okay, system function. This system function will get the function return value. You'll get this function return value. Okay. So uh, we similarly we, we can do the the other two. Okay. So this is a function, this is a parameter for the function, and this one will get the function return value. So if it is Michael, so for here the return value should be one. And for this one, for these two, Jack and Alice, the return value should be zero. Zero, zero. Okay, we save it, and then we run it. So it's here. So this is one return. Z return value is one. Return value is zero. Return value is zero. Okay. So the uh, this is the function return. The function return tell you the whole flow of the function. So where the function uh, has been has been run. Has been called okay. The last one will be the function call. The function call is a uh, uh, is uh, um, it's different from this one. Okay, so um, we get a function. We get a function like this. Okay, we can cut and save. So this is a function. Um, this is we can think about this one is a function library okay and we added one more um function like print is not just a, it's not hello is print uh, print the day okay print the day we call the function Echo. The day. day. Okay. Let's let's create uh, another function. Print day and print hello, in the same in the same file. So let's say a uh, echo. Okay, we define a variable first. Okay, so today day uh, equals this variable day and okay and uh, it will be like this. Okay, so this is a function day to get the system. This is years. This is months. This is day, and and uh, put it uh, into this variable. 
then we echo it out. Today is this this value echo. Okay. And uh, okay, this is print day. So we will have two functions in these files and uh, so here we call the we this function call. This function call is called what we mentioned is to call the um, function from another files. Okay, then we create another files. Edit function call. Okay, so this function will be called another function. So um, first we enter the we ended the we, we, we ended this bash first and the more important thing is so where is another file source so this means call another file where it is is in the current folder this this means current folder what's the function name this is function okay so um we print First, we um, in this function have the print hello, okay, and what hello what Michael and Jack, okay, and and there is another function called pr um, print day, okay, um, so it will call the two function which all in the fun um. In the function files, we save it. Okay, let's take a look here. So there is two files here. We added uh, we added the, the executable permit to the function call. Okay, let's take a look. So this is also executable. Let's run it. Take a look. Yes, okay. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. And you, Michael, nice to meet you. I'm Jack. Today is these days. So it means the two function uh, has works successfully. Uh, pretty good. Um, so, uh, so here, function call means we can separate the function definition into the different files. In this case, the function definition will be in the function file, and we call from the um, from another file named the function call. And uh, so the only the only thing well, we needed to take care of is he, we need to use the source to um, to tell the shell screen where the function it is. So in this is a folder and with this will be the function name. Okay, so that's it. This is, uh, this is for the function definition, function permit, function return, function call. And uh, I'm Michael. And I hope you will like it, support us, subscribe us. Thank you.